Today's show is brought to you by HelloFresh. Please visit HelloFresh.com and use the promo code CADCAST30 to save $30 off your first week of deliveries when you subscribe. Ay, chocolate con crema de maní. You had better get some milk to wash down that peanut butter. It sometimes sticks to the roof of your mouth. Literally. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 517. Yes, this is my voice now. Uh, I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who I just opened up in a loot box, Wombat. Nice. I like the sound of your voice. You have, you have like this, um, almost like a Bob costas quality to it. Sexist, sexy. I mean, not sexist. <laughs> sexist. <laughs> Too much of that. Uh, I didn't uh, know. Harvey I didn't know. We, yeah, Weinstein. I was going to say. <laughs> say you sounded like Harvey Weinstein. Right. We're very sexy topical. Voice. Sexy voice. Yes, that's me. That's me. Mm. Yeah, I got a cold, and uh, yeah, I, I had a sore throat, but now the sore throat's gone. But my voice is gone also, and I have like stuffy sinus, everything. I used up a lot of tissues today. Some of them for even uh, more than more than normal. <laughs> Some of them I even blew my nose in. Wah, 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 wah. Hey now, hey shipwreck, how you doing? I'm doing well. My voice is fine. Good, you talk now. <laughs> Take it away. All right, it's your show now. Go for it, shipwreck. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see here. Show feedback. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. I got to talk about my brush with celebrity. Oh, okay. I had one of those too. Yes, we both had brushes with celebrity. I had um, one also. Does that does mine count? You no, have we're not gonna to talk wait, about that. Wait your turn. Right. Um, I don't know about wombat, so I'm now mine's I'm from like now. mine's from over a week ago, so I don't think it counts anymore. Okay. Oh. It depends on the celebrity. Sure. This wasn't really like a brush with celebrity. Uh, Mrs. Cheapy was celebrating her birthday this week, and she was working from home. <clears throat> And she wanted to go out for lunch for her birthday to like a a nice uh, restaurant. Uh, So we went there and it was one of these restaurants where like when it's nice out, everybody eats outside. Um, And we wanted to eat outside too, but it was all, all the tables were taken. Um, So only the inside was available and we were sitting in like the bar area. And I sit down and I just look at the table next to us and it's Bill O'Reilly with like eating with two people that are actually older than he is. So of course, like I said, Mrs. Cheapy, a text don't turn around, but Bill O'Reilly is right behind you. And it's like driving her crazy because her back is to him and she can't see. But I was close enough that I could like, I could listen to what he was talking about. And it wasn't really anything interesting. He was just talking about his uh, home renovations. And he was, he was actually there celebrating a birthday too for, for the people he was eating with. And he had tacos I think fish tacos and a Bloody Mary. So fellow podcaster Bill O'Reilly was there. It must have been like uh, celebrating National Podcast Day or something. I, I'm assuming that's what he was doing there. Did you spit on him when you walked out? <laughs> I, I texted Wombat, of course, to tell him. And he's like, oh, you got to go punch him in the nuts. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. I just sat well, that's, no, that's, the, that's the appropriate thing to do. About last week, I was, you know, it was Penn Station and it was early in the morning, probably about 7... What time? Let's say seven. No, uh, eight fifteen. That's what time it was. Sorry, I was off by an hour. About eight fifteen a.m. And I'm going up the escalator onto th- up to Thirty Fourth Street, and going down the down escalator was this guy in a baseball hat. And I'm like, that guy looks just like Christian Slater. And as I'm getting closer and closer, uh-huh. I'm like. That guy doesn't look like Christian Slater. That is Christian Slater. And I gave him the smile and nod, and he gave me the smile and nod back. <laughs> nice. I'm like, you're Christian Slater. <laughs> so that was my that's, brush with fame. That's cool. I wonder if he may be filming... Uh, Mr. Robot? Mr. Robot. That film's in New York, so... Yeah. I don't know. It's not like it's a crazy thing for him, for him to have been in New York, but it was just kind of cool to... Uh, 
I like that you gave him the sly, like, he was going the other way. On yeah, he was going down oh, and cool. I was going up. So it was like two ships passing did in the night. Did you do the thing where you reached out and, and grabbed under his hand as he went by? <laughs> I, I did not. You didn't spit just, on your hand? And I just flat. very casually gave the, I know who you are kind of look. Mm-hmm. And he smiled back. He's like, oh, it's, oh, it's me. And then we both killed some heathers and it was cool. Nice. Now let's hear about Shipwreck's brush with fame. Yeah, his is the best. He gamed with fame. Yes. Yeah, so uh, lunchtime basketball, uh, former Bengal Leon Hall suddenly just showed up and we played. And New York Giant. Uh, Yeah, I guess he played one year with the Giants, (laughs) but (laughs) I think his his longest tenure was definitely with the Bengals. (laughs) But uh, yeah, so we were matched up against each other and everything. Nice. How'd you do? I did fine. He did. He did fine. It was. Uh, he is a or was a professional football player. So basketball is not his first sport, but he's right. still a professional right. athlete. Right. Is he How giant? Is, he? is it? Is he like a huge man in person though? No, uh, football players in general, um, like all of the skilled positions, they're all like <laughs> normal sized dudes. Like he's, I'm taller than he is. Some of the some of the receivers are pretty tall, no? Yeah, yeah they're, and they're quarterbacks tall. tend to be giants. Yeah, yeah, but all the like the running backs and the linebackers and cornerbacks, they're all pretty normal sized dudes. They're just like all extremely ripped. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, he was he was Jax still. So you have um, that in common. Yeah, we did. We compared biceps, like as you do. <laughs> mm. Um. I reached out and grabbed his and then he grabbed mine and that's just what did you, you say heard. what do you bench right that's what we talked about um we didn't really talk much nice dude but was he impressed mean, with your skills at all did he say like wow you're good or anything like that i i think he said like nice shot or something like that so when you're not best him. friends is what you're saying you're not gonna mm. like not yet you're not going we'll on vacation if he, if he keeps showing up if he keeps showing up we'll we'll see we'll work on that best friends but That's pretty cool. That is cool. I told yeah, Mrs. Cheapy. I told Mrs. Cheapy about it. She was oh, impressed. Yeah. Impressed that yes, we both showed up to the same gym at the same time. No, she was. I told her that you were draining threes over him, and she was impressed. Oh, oh, well, I, I made a, a couple. He made shots too. Right. I'm not going to disparage a professional athlete's. Ability. I heard he was talking shit about you on his podcast. Really? Though. He he ripped me pretty good one time. Like, uh, I I was just just standing with the ball and all of a sudden the ball is gone. He's got oh. pretty quick hands. Apparently I thought that meant he farted on you. I'm not, right, I'm that's not down with the lingo. <laughs> that's what it means but, in my world. Right. Mine too. Excellent. Um, we might have, we might have speaking of uh, basketball news. We might have basketball news soon. Oh, excellent. Awesome. Yes. I saw that there was a, an update and I got disappointed when I didn't see your name in the liner notes. Oh, was there? Yeah. I, I Okay. So we may not have news soon. I don't know. Oh, uh, when was the update? I think they added like 45 players. Oh. oh, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe I did not make the cut. I'm not sure. Or maybe uh, he didn't make the notes. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. We'll find hmm. out. Do not know. Cool. All right. How about some show feedback? Sure. Chuck M79 has to say... I love the show. Keep up the great work. I couldn't tell if that was sarcasm or not. I'm going to assume it isn't. <laughs> it's not a, not a very uh, insightful comment. No, but it's nice to get put to read nice things. It's there was only there was only that. there were only eight comments, and I think one of them was oh. you. So, right, somebody was yelling at me about something. Yeah, and I wasn't going to get I, that whole thing on here because who cares? Right. I really uh, forgot what it was. Yeah. I didn't check to see if there was a response. Usually what I do, somebody writes something about me bad, I'll fire back like one response, and then that's it. Yes. What Watu Lakula has to say, Hey, guys, during the Project Clean Car 2 conversation, Sheepy said, it's not like they're going to sneak a brownie in there. And then Wombat immediately replied, that's a very distinct possibility. I was laughing so hard I had to stop and tell my wife why. Conversations like that and opening with a five-minute commercial for the zoo are what keep me listening. Love with you what you guys do. Thanks for the 10 years of laughs. And Cheapy, you don't know what you're missing by only having one child. 
I disagree. I think I do know what I'm missing. Yeah. Oh no, I mean, you know what you're missing. Yeah. It was it's, intentional. It's you're you're fine. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like I couldn't figure out how to have how to have yeah, how to have a second child. Nope. Uh, it was just that it was, seemed like a lot more work. Gotcha. What you watching yeah. these days? Oh, a lot of stuff. So uh, <clears throat> I started. We watched the first episode of The Gifted. Which is the new Marvel series? Yeah, on the Fox. new X Men show. I was gonna. I wanted to check it out. I just haven't had time. I didn't even know that it was existed, but Mrs. Chibi somehow found out about it, and uh, and we watched it. It was very good. I heard it was good. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not familiar with those characters. It's got uh, Lorna Dane in it, right? I don't know who that is. Polaris. Pol- yes, there's Polaris. They mentioned Polaris in the show, but that was the only name, like superhero name, they mentioned. Yeah. So I'm not really sure who the other guys are, um, but it seems pretty well done. The guy from uh, uh, True Blood is in it. Bill is from True Blood is in it. Never watched True Blood, but I'll just shake my head and go, "Oh, great!" Yes, um, it's good to see him back on TV. And sure, we, we we enjoyed the first episode. We'll, we will watch the the rest of the season. Cool, most likely. It's on Hulu, so I can watch it. Um, we also watched about three quarters of the Netflix documentary, Lady Gaga, Five Foot Two, which I would recommend. Wombat, you should, you like those music documentaries. Wombat, you're Five Foot Two. <laughs> <laughs> you're Five Foot Two and like music documentaries. You should watch that. Please, I right. wanted to watch the, uh, the Tom Petty one, the four hour Tom Petty documentary for obvious reasons. And right. it's not available for download. So I'm like, hey. It's too long, probably. I don't know. No, because the Eagles one is there for download. Mm. So is the George Harrison one. I think Which, Lady Gaga has the, the Dr. John Sarno back problem that mm, she's not addressing. Gotcha. If you haven't Helper. seen the uh, George Harrison documentary that they just added to Netflix, it was on HBO. I highly recommend it. The Scorsese George Harrison one. Does that one have Lady Gaga's breasts in it? No. Oh, is, oh. It, is, is she topless in that? She's topless. Nice. Good she be not impressed with Lady Gaga's breasts? I was mm. like, really? They look pretty good to me. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I don't. Th- I don't think the shape is that good. I'm like, hey, I'm. I, you know, respectfully disagree. <laughs> I mean, they seem <laughs> seem fine. Uh, but it's good. It's well done, and I don't know. It seems hard to be uh, super famous. Cool. Yeah, I so, guess. I wouldn't know. Well. Quasi internet, quasi internet famous? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good, it's better. You don't want to. You don't be bothered. You know. Sure. Seems like a real hassle. Mm. What are you watching? I watched because this was available for download on Netflix. I finished uh, Big Mouth on Netflix. You finished the whole series, right? Yeah, it's only ten half. It's ten half hour episodes. Like a while. It's, it's five days on the train. It's an animated show about puberty. Is it, is it is an animated show about puberty. I thought it was very funny. I enjoyed it. It's uh, Nick Kroll from Kroll Show and Dr. Poopy Pants from uh, the Captain Underpants movie. Uh, he's like the creator of the show. He does the voice of the main character named Nick. And John Mulaney is the other, is, plays his best friend. John Mulaney and Nick Kroll also were Oh Hello, if you watch that, which is also on Netflix. And very funny. But yeah, it was very funny. It goes by really quick. Um, I want to say the first episode probably isn't the best, but it does pick up. So I don't know. I recommend it. Check it out. It's on Netflix. Big, Big mouth. mouth. Big Mouth, yes. The hormone monster is pretty pretty damn funny. So Ty told Ty told me the other day that he was scared about puberty and that his armpit started to smell, so he thinks he's growing up. So that's yeah. happening. I'll tell you this much: it hits. <laughs> it it does hit girls a little earlier than boys. Sweet, enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to embarrass my daughter on the show. You never know when she'll hear it. <laughs> right. She, I'm. She can guarantee you, she has no interest in listening to the show. I am sure she has no interest in listening to the show. <laughs> I am like very confident that as famous as Howard Stern is, that his daughters have probably heard like 20 minutes of his entire career. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I finished American Vandal today, the and? series on Netflix. It's so good. I told you. I don't, how I they told got me you. to care. I know. I mean, I was, I was, hey, I started watching before you. You don't get credit for that. 
I get credit for that. <laughs> get credit for what? For finishing it before me? Yes. Yeah. That's, yep. I like that I was interested in what happened in a fake documentary. I know. That's really like, that's the like... most amazing part is how riveted you are in this stupid ass mystery. Right. It's like, it has like ridiculously high production values for a topic that's um, basically who drew dicks on the teacher's Who drew cars. the dicks? I mean, that's who the did, mystery. Who did the yeah. dicks. That's but the, there's and, something about that where it's like, oh, so you can have an engaging mystery that doesn't have to be about like someone murdering 80 people. It doesn't have to be a gross homicide in order for you to be interested. There's something about the the human drama in this ridiculousness that makes it yeah. worth watching. And it was also interesting to see what life is like in high school with the internet and everybody carrying around a computer in their pocket. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, very different than everyone documents days. everything. Yeah. It just, uh, I don't know. It was very well done. Super well done. Way, it was actually way too well done for the subject matter. That's, that's the charm of it. I think. Yeah, I was going to say, but that's the point. I know. It was great. I loved mm-hmm. it. If you haven't watched uh, American Vandal yet, Shipwreck, go watch American Vandal. I'll He's get not, right on that. Why? How come Shipwreck never will watch what we tell him to watch? I don't watch TV. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I don't really watch TV. But you watch movies and stuff. It's not like you don't watch things. I Yeah, I know, but I watch I watch movies. Yeah, I, I mean, don't is, watch much it, TV at all. Are the Reds out? They're done, right, for the season? <laughs> the Reds were done about five months <laughs> That's ago. That's over. So you have some free time now. The Bengals I, only I play just, once a week. I do don't really enjoy TV. You don't have a hockey team. I'm sure you I have, have Netflix. a hockey team. What we you? have a, it's a minor league hockey team. It doesn't count. It's probably better. Yeah. I did not watch a single hockey game last season, by the way. TV just doesn't do much for me. Why? It's too much of an investment. Like that's I always why, get That's why you should just watch and... like American Vandal is what is it? 8 episodes? Yep. Yeah. And it's on too Netflix. Much. Like it's, it's basically it's a long movie. I, I know. I don't like those either. I, I like to be in and out in two hours. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> I also finished the uh, the book Blood Sweat Pixels by Jason Scherer of Kotaku about uh, where every chapter is about a, a different game being developed, and you mm-hmm. get sort of the behind the scenes stories of it. I really liked it. Very, uh, very quick and easy read and entertaining and gives you insight to basically what is like the miracle of game development because it's a miracle that these games actually get made and come out to be good sometimes or most of the time these days. Um, The chapter about Star Wars 1313, which uh, I think was the last chapter in the book, was very interesting. How a game that was basically the most hyped up game at E3 wound up never being made. Um, and just, just like, <laughs> just how hard it is, like just to make a big budget game. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I highly recommend it. Anybody, uh, who listens to this show would, would like blood, sweat and pixels. I'm pretty sure. Um, I didn't know where to put this next item because it's not a video game, but it's sort of like a video game. I guess it, I don't know. I, I bought drop mix video game. I guess it's on an iPad, so I guess it's a that video would make game. it a video game. But it's All also right, a well, card game, isn't it? Yes, and it's a has a board as well, sort of. Um, so Drop Mix is the uh, collaboration between Harmonix and Hasbro. Uh, it comes with a board that connects via Bluetooth to an app on you know either iOS or or Android, and it's basically like a music. They, like a music mixing card battle game where you're getting points by putting down cards and each card is a different track of a song. And as you're putting the songs, uh, putting the cards down, you're also ma- mixing a song, a new song together. Um, so it's pretty, in- the the music that plays really has nothing to do with how your scoring in the game is going. It just sort of gives you something to listen to while you're playing the game and makes it a lot more interesting. Obviously it's gives like a more party atmosphere, I guess. Um, but I've been playing a, a lot with Ty and he really likes it a lot. It's, it's easy enough for a is it Is it a two year old? Is it a two player game only? Or is it? No, nope. like, you can, you can play one versus one, two versus two or one versus two. So are we going to play this next weekend? Yeah. 
Yes, we are. That's going to be the cool, Wombats right? Are coming over, and we're going to play. Uh, yeah, we're going. You should read the rules. You should watch the video. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll study before we go because <laughs> we're experts already. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's like a couple different modes. One where you play head to head. There's one where you're basically trying to put the card. You're working together with other people to try to put the cards down as fast as possible, uh, based on what comes up on the screen. It's a lot of fun and it's pretty unique. But it's also, I find it, it's pretty expensive at $100 for the, the starter kit, which comes with enough cards to play for four people. Um, four, yeah, four people. Um, but they sell different playlists as well. And so those... what's, what's the all-in price here? Well, the all, I mean, you could just play, you could totally play $100, pay $100 and be all-in. Well, I mean, oh, and, okay, and be fine. But nobody's going to do that. They're well, least... maybe. Well, okay. Well, they sell the the different playlists of fifteen cards uh, for fifteen dollars, or sixteen cards for fifteen dollars. Um, they sell like blind box, blind packs, I believe, for five dollars. I guess there are five or six cards in that. Um, but I saw on the website they'll also let you buy the collection, the complete collection of the blind cards if you don't want to do the whole blind box thing. Okay. Um, but I mean, all in is, I mean, it's a lot. It's going to be, it's going to be over $200. And I'm sure they're going to keep coming out with more Ooh. cards if, if it's successful. I just, as much fun as I think it is, I just don't see people going into a store and impulse buying a $100 card game, even though it's more than a card game. I, because, I think it's a tough sell. It's a sell. really fun game. We played it at E3. I, it is I fun. want this. Yes. But, but it's you... <laughs> really hard to look at it and go, this is not going to drop in price. <laughs> like, I agree. It, I think it's. I think they priced it. They should have tried to take a hit or something on the starter kit and hope that gets people hooked in. Because mm-hmm. I just don't... I just... As fun as I think it is, I don't know that the, the average person who is not like... I don't know, already decided that they want this thing because they love like mixing records and card games uh, to spend $100. It just seems like a lot of money. And I that, saw where it sits at like Target. It like sits in among like off-brand VR headsets and uh-oh. and like Overdrive. Is that that oh, car Oh, Anki yes. Overdrive. Is that where it, okay, I know where that section is. Yeah, Isn't that it's, also it's where they that. have the game collectibles now, though? Did they move those in your store, it's, too? It's down the aisle from that, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, near some, like, PC by stuff. By the Call of Duty hats? Is that where it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, they reorganized a little bit recently, at least, at least at mine, for the Christmas season already. I don't mean to imply that it's not worth the hundred dollars. Yeah, it's it's not it's that. Okay, it's I'm not that, an investor. I don't give a crap what you think. It's <laughs> that are enough people are going to buy it at that price that it's not going to immediately drop. Right. That's 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 my only that's my my concern. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, Ty can beat me in it, and Mrs. GP. We got Mrs. GP to play. Even uh, it's fun. Drop mix. Awesome. Is there any way to to hook it up to Apple TV? Yep, you can uh, AirPlay it. Okay, off, but no. Off your phone. Okay. There's no app on Apple TV, but I, I've I've been bothering the developers or the community manager, somebody at Harmonix. I keep asking questions because sometimes I feel like the directions aren't that clear, or maybe I'm just not. I don't uh, have a good attention span. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've been asking a lot of questions, and I asked about the Apple TV app, and he said you can AirPlay it. But I, I just play it on my giant Samsung tablet in the living room, and okay. and you can, uh, you know, you can uh, Bluetooth the tablet to the uh, to a speaker, Bluetooth speaker to get better sound, which I do. Um, I don't know, it's fun having fun. Yeah, I, I think I, I would like them to put an Apple TV app out. The AirPlay it works fine, I guess, but it's. I don't know. It's, it's not probably, as easy. Yeah, because you're like you're Bluetoothing from the the board to the iOS to the phone, device to the yeah, and now your TV. Yeah, it's I haven't tried it, so I can't really. It's a lot speak. going on. It is. It is. But it's uh, it's it's a fun game. I like it. All right. Awesome. New releases. Okay. Um. Let's see here. I have been playing some Golf Story. 
for Ooh. the Switch. Uh, that came out like after last week's show, but it's included in this week's new releases. That is a lot of fun. Um, it's a uh, overhead think like I don't know Zelda, sixteen bit Zelda type of looking thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is a RPG based around golfing. Um, and it's got a very uh, cute uh, like way that it tells the story and kind of breaks the fourth wall sometimes. And it's not just like playing rounds of golf. Like you're actually going out and exploring the golf courses and talking to the, the characters and they have stupid things that need to need to be done and taken care of. And you do that by hitting golf balls at things or hitting things that aren't golf balls or, like you got to feed some, some turtles or something. So you hit some food out to the turtles. Um, <laughs> and then the turtles become your, your friends. And then if you hit a golf ball into like the circles where the turtles live, then the turtles will come up and the golf ball hits off the top of their shell and doesn't go in the water. That type That's of what turtles are for. It sounds, it sounds kind of fun. Yeah, no, it's really fun. And like all the different worlds I, I on world four, I think, they all have like different themes, um, just like like an RPG would have, or any kind of video game would have. You have mm. like one one city's like way up in the air with birds flying around, um, and the what was the second one? The second one, uh, it was kind of jungly with that's where the turtles lived and everything, um. It's very, very cool. It's It's got the whole upgrade structure in there. You're getting XP for doing all this stuff. You get money and you can buy new gear. Uh, it's very well done. Like, so well done that I wonder why Nintendo hasn't gone this route. I mean, they had the long time ago, that Mario Golf that had kind of the RPG elements to it back on Game Boy Color, I believe. Um, But, like, I'm just playing this and thinking, like, how how has Nintendo not stuck their characters into something like this? Maybe golf story too. Yeah. It's only 15 bucks too. Huh? Only $15. It's, it's a lot of fun. Cool. Um, oh, single player only. I would assume so. Yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's very, it's a very story driven game. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a mode in there for multiplayer where you just play golf against each other or not. Could be. Cool. Golf story. What else we got? We have uh, for Xbox, we have Cuphead, I guess Xbox and PC. Mm -hmm. And I know both you and I, Cheapy, have been playing Cuphead. I took the plunge. Uh Uh-huh. I'm I'm able to get past levels. Me too. But I'm sure it's going to get to the point where I can't get past them. You think so? I don't. I don't know. I, Every, I everything really seems hard. so pattern based to me on this that it's if if you're able to recognize pattern and and do old style old style platforming type of things, it seems like you should be fine. I mean, it's basically for the most part a boss battle game, right? Um, and they there's very few, at least so far. I've I've only played. I'm almost done with the first island. I guess there's. It looks like there's three islands. Is that right? I don't know. It's somewhere in that. It's either three or four based upon a, the achievement list that I saw. Um, and so far there's been two platforming levels and the rest have been boss battles. And then there's been one like flying in an airplane level. So do I want to get this level. game or not? No. Okay. You don't. <laughs> I don't think I don't, there's you much. You do here. feel good though when you beat a level, though. You do, but I don't think this is Wombat's thing. Like you have to, you're gonna have to repeat some stuff over and over again. And I have, I, I could do other things if I want to feel do. good. I have other things I could do. Really? I, you would like that you buy upgrades and can add those to your character and swap them out and stuff. But I just don't think this is something that you would enjoy. The, uh, the yeah. animation obviously is fantastic. I know. And I, I watched some let's plays and I'm like, this game looks so nice. It's a, sh- 
it's a shame I'm never gonna play it. But you know, I it's think you're fine bucks. just watching it on YouTube for you. Yeah, I, yeah but yeah, I, really I don't do. want to spend twenty. I have other things I could spend twenty dollars on. Right, I get it. Like I'd I rather. It. I feel like I'd. I would enjoy Golf Story more than Cuphead. Yeah, definitely. I I think that's that makes sense for you. you. Can play that on the train. It's not. It there's very few things that I've had to retry on Golf Story. It, you progress as you play pretty easily. Yeah. Um. Cuphead, I just don't think it's for you, Wombat. I I like it. I was hoping there would be more platforming than what there is. Um, r- right now, at least through the first level, it's it's. Just a lot of dodging. Does the game get by watching? Boss. Does the game really get by on the art style? Is that kind of what saves this game? Like, if it was, say, a sixteen-bit style-looking game, yes, would would it? Yes, it's, would we even be talking it about would lose it? Lose some of the appeal, certainly, but it I think the mechanics. The yeah, a lot of it. The mechanics are still solid, but it's like okay. Here's I, and the I know that's a loaded question. The guy, by the way, <laughs> I what? said I know it's a loaded question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it's like here's the boss battle where this blob like jumps up in the air and you have to like run underneath him so he doesn't doesn't hit you. It's it's like all stuff that you're very familiar with. It's all Mario boss battles so far, um, except instead of jumping on things' heads, you're you're shooting them. Um, the I don't know. It's 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 really neat looking. Like it's. Definitely visually striking to watch. The music is great. I th- I think mm-hmm. you know people compare it a lot to like old school NES games, hard ones. The biggest difference bet- besides the art style, obviously, is that the levels are short, so yeah. you don't get super duper frustrated because you're not. It's not like oh my god, I have to go back and play like another you know five minutes to get to the this checkpoint or something like that. It's all the levels. I think you know you can beat them in like two minutes. As far as at least so far, so no, I like it so far, and I'm I'm still playing it. Did you change up the uh, controls? I remapped the controls because I felt like there was just way too much going on in the face buttons. No, I'm going to do that though. You said uh, shoot with the right trigger and dash with the left trigger. Yeah, I think that that helps me a lot because I was getting trying to do the the dash which is mapped to y and the jumping is mapped to to a um and shooting was x like it was everything was like right right uh by each other yeah there was no way to like do a jump and a dash very precisely because you were having to move your your finger from jump to dash real quick um yeah so it's I not think- a great game to play when you're sick because like you're just going to be sweating more maybe that is good to get so. to get the Get the germs out. Get the germs. It's sweat. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sweating exactly. a lot right now. In case you're wondering. <laughs> All right. What else we got this week? Uh, Forza Motorsport 7 came out. It did. It's out. I. It's out. Wow. It's out. Uh, I have it. I have. I still have not played it because I've still been playing other things and Destiny. How about you, Mr. Cheapy? Um, I did not oh, buy okay. it. I, um, I didn't buy the last one. I didn't buy six either. I um I don't know I I'm more of a Horizon guy. Certainly, I would wait for the Xbox One X to come out before I played it. That makes sense. Um, Got it. So I I, I, I really just bought it because the hundred dollar version was on sale for forty five dollars one right. day on Amazon. I'm pissed I missed that, but okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll play it soon. I installed all sixty seven gigs Jesus. of it, so I'm ready to go. It's um, it's like almost a hundred gigs on that's the PC. That's crazy. And it should be the same on Xbox One X because of the 4K textures. Big time. Uh, you, so there's been a lot of controversy about this game. There's like two points of controversy. Have you been following it? I saw that they already changed I, I know something. People have... Didn't they already change something? Yeah. They changed the VIP okay. uh, program. Uh, usually, the VIP program gives you double experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, throughout the whole time you play and in this game they didn't really make it clear that they were changing it and it was only like five time uses of double experience which is why 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 would you change it right why would you do that like why would you why does it matter 
<laughs> right. They like, added right. That, like, that was you only can't part just give of away this experience for free. Right. Uh, right. God forbid we leave like this, uh, you know a few shekels on the table. Right. This uh, our margins on giving out this XP. They're just not as good as they used to be, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a little too greedy. A little too greedy. And the the other controversy is they added loot boxes to the game. Well, I guess they ha- sort of had loot boxes in the last one, but they really expanded. I was like, doesn't Horizon time, have loot so... boxes? Horizon. Well, it has like it so. has its own that. version of it. It has the spin. Yeah, it has, it a, has wheel. a wheel. Oh, I'm sorry. It's yeah, not it's a box. Wheel. It's a wheel. Yeah. Oh, I'm so stupid. Well, I'll tell you the difference. <laughs> no, 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 no. But the difference is, it's that's like a bonus for every. Well, time I'm saying, well, up. what's the difference between the, the box yeah. and the wheel? Or are they saying? So the difference is there's certain cars that you really only can get through the loot boxes in this one or by, I guess, once they let you pay with real money, which is coming soon, uh, get them that way. And in addition to that, they've added some of the things that you could change. Like you could change the difficulties in the old game. If you made the, dif- if you made the difficulty harder, you, you would more earn speed. more experience. Yeah. And this one, you have to use these things called mods to change that up, and then it gives you an experience bonus, but they're all – you have to earn those mods. You have to win them, I guess, in loot boxes. But so they change that now too, right? No, I don't think they change that. Oh. I think that's why, still – Why is this XP some some resource? Because XP is there? how you get cars, and if they could charge you to get the boost to get more XP – just charge charge us like normal for the cars. It's like yeah, it's like, like the, it's a very convoluted right thing. When They're the, doing that too. When the, sure. you were right, because there is only one end game reward for this game, and that's to get more cars. So why not just charge for the cars and call it a day? I don't know. I'm sure they will because they come out with car packs. I'm sure they're not going to stop coming out with car packs. For I, pay I saw for pay. I get some some free cars out of this so far, and I haven't even yeah, you get at least four yet. free cars so. out of this. But it's still kind of yeah no it's it's weird it's dumb it it uh, it's the new... I I have faith that they'll probably fix this though the mod I stuff know. I don't know I think I, that's well too... I think they'll make it to where it's... it'll it'll come down yeah, to the, the how guys have it'll been come down to how successful it is the loot box situation and the game. I mean, if enough people don't buy the game because of this loot box situation, I mean, you know, we we. It could be another evolve where that game is dead before it even is released because of its. Uh, uh, but that was that. That had game. The, the game oh no, the game was yeah. That game was bad. Like, but people just. But there no, were a lot of people that were turned off just because of its. I don't think any game has failed so far because of loot boxes. Though. Well, again, it's it's it's. We haven't, we haven't hit, hit that. that yet, and I think again, again, I guess we're talking about the loot box situation. It's also, it's a twofold thing. I mean, when you say, "Oh, this game has loot boxes," my initial thought isn't that's bad. My initial thought is, "What do you mean by that?" Because, like, uh, Injustice Two, which I p- played this evening before we even did this, uh, before we did the show, has tons of loot boxes. They're also really easy to get. And you don't need pay real money to get loot boxes in this in that game. So there's tons of loot boxes. I enjoy playing that game, and I enjoy earning loot boxes, and I enjoy unlocking them to get stupid stuff to make my characters look like jerks. It's it's the main hook of that game, and it's a joy. And without loot boxes, that game would be well, it would still be great. It just wouldn't be as great. So loot boxes help that game. Uh, you could say the same thing about probably, and and GP could say yes or no. Overwatch loot boxes is probably what is that in like a gray area because you could pay for them, but you could also earn them. No, you can't pay. For, well, you can That's, buy the yes. loot boxes. Yeah, you can buy the loot. Bo- yeah, yes. Um, it's all, but it's all cosmetic. This is not. You're earning the cars in them, which is not a cosmetic thing. It's. It seems like they they're just fixing things that aren't broken. And I don't know if that's... Yeah, I was going to say, because there's a right way to do loot boxes. I mean, it's no different than even, like, you know, in a lo- in an RPG, finding, you know, you do a quest at the end of the quest, there's a treasure chest, you open it up, you get something right. new. If it's done in that kind of a thing right. as a reward for success, it could help 
make a game the longevity of a game significantly even you know in like in destiny is a perfect example of that as well but when you make it it then again the on the other hand also in destiny you could just go ahead and buy it you can't oh you can't you could go to the woman who sells the ink she only sells bright engrams though and those don't give you much of anything so yeah i guess so yeah no you won't get any good weapons though i guess right yeah so i guess it is all relative yeah, Jim Sterling has a good video about the uh, the Forza loot boxes and Shadow of War yeah. loot boxes. Yep, that's the other one. Um, but it was it was a good video though. Yeah. And so it's not it about that loot boxes are bad. It's how you implement your loot no. boxes that's bad. So yeah, yeah, totally. So totally because generally speaking, I like we'll loot see. boxes, but when they're when you implement them behind a paywall, they suck. I, I don't feel right really talking about it too much because I haven't tried it out myself. So I'm only like reading other people's accounts. But like I said, I'm going to wait for the One X to come out. I have no reason to rush and play this. I'm, what does I'm it have busy, to do with uh, the Russians? Playing other things. Okay. <laughs> Anything else this week besides FIFA's out? We don't play that. Um, I anything think else there? Uh, Battle Chasers, I guess, came out. We saw that at E3. That was pretty pretty nice looking. That was a uh, mm-hmm. turn-based RPG. Cool. Um, and Dragon's Dogma is back out now on uh, modern consoles. Sweet. All right, then. Mm-hmm. Um, how about a word from our sponsor, HelloFresh? I just made a delicious uh, figgy pork with green beans. Oh, how was that? Tonight. I was going to order that, but I didn't. I got three other meals instead. Um, so how was that one? I got, was it? it I'm was sure delicious. it was. They're all Mrs. delicious. I don't know. M- Mrs. Cheapy was super impressed that even though I was feeling really shitty, that I managed to crank out a delicious meal. I got the, I- uh, the 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 meat sauce with the spaghetti. I made that. Oh yeah, we're having that tomorrow. Oh, it is so good. I made that one myself for my wife last night, and that's with the uh, you, the zucchini and the tomatoes. And the onions, but the zucchini is really what makes it because they give you a lot of zucchini and a lot of beef, mm. and it comes with a, a hot pepper oil that you can put on that you put on at the end after you divvy it up. Because my wife does not like food spicy, and I like food spicy, so I was able to have super spicy meat sauce pasta with zucchini and onions and garlic. It was delicious. I highly recommend that one. That's awesome. So we, yeah, it was good. Did you do the? You, did you do the beef noodles this week? No, you know I forgot. Sometimes I forget to choose the meals, so they just chose for us, um, which was fine because everything's good. It didn't really matter. But um, no, we we did not have the, the beef half noodles. the fun is choosing the meals. I know, but I, sometimes I forget. The app is great. Yeah. You download the app. You sit down with your significant other, and you and you draw charts. Indicating right. why it's your turn to pick the three <laughs> meals and why she got to pick last week, right? And how this is what you want, and this is what we're going to get this time, right? Well, for those of you who don't know, HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service, and it makes cooking fun and easy. Every week, HelloFresh creates new recipes with uh, very easy to follow step by step instructions. And they use the f- freshest ingredients, and they only send you exactly what you need, so you don't waste any food. And best of all, it's less than $10 a meal. Uh, we'd like you to go to HelloFresh.com and use promo code CADCAST30, and you'll save $30 off your first week of deliveries when you subscribe. I really like getting the feedback from our listeners who have used the service, and a lot of times people will send me pictures of their meals that they've made. And it's really cool to see uh, people use the service. It's really like a product that... I feel good about having a sponsor. Like I know it's a great service and it's healthy and it's really like the right move for any family. It's just so Yeah, easy. we we all use it all three of us and it is the best decision I've made yes. probably this year. Yes. is to have HelloFresh 3 times a week. Yep. And it's great and it's something to look forward to. I am excited for my I think next week I'm having jerk chicken thighs. Nice. And I'm having uh breaded tilapia. Yep. I mean, these are things that I'm not going out and and you know, I'm not going to be in the supermarket and go, "Hmm, 
hmm, I think this week I'm going to try that jerk Tla- chicken thigh <laughs> recipe. The tilapia but is knowing good. that. Yeah, but knowing that it's coming to me with all the ingredients and an easy to follow recipe, and I know it's going to be delicious because everything they have is. And I'm not just saying that I've been uh, using it, the service now for almost a year. It, you can't go wrong. Nope. So uh, HelloFresh.com and promo code CADCAST30 to get $30 off your first week of deliveries when you subscribe. Thank you very much. HelloFresh. You're awesome. All right, let's move on to multi platforming. And Wombat's Destiny Dynamo news and stuff. I'm retired from Overwatch, I think. At least until Good. at least until the Halloween stuff comes out, which is like five more days, I think. Mm. Um, so Battle Royale mode came out on Fortnite. Yeah, I thought you didn't like it, but I guess seven million other people said, "Who cares what you think?" GP? I didn't say I didn't like it. I said it has a different feel than PUBG. That's what I said, oh. and that's seven million said people it was who terrible. Have, seven million people have played Fortnite, not just the battle royale mode. Um, not bad Still at not all. Bad. I mean, and also keep in mind, um, the battle royale mode is completely free. That's just a uh, you can just download that mode for free separately. So oh, I didn't know that. I guess I should download that mode. Yeah, it's not. So it's you know, I mean. And also, it helped. It probably didn't hurt that PUBG put out a press release advertising the game for them. That probably was put added a few people to the playlist. Right. Um, right. At Brayhole writes in and says, uh, Fortnite did take everything from PUBG and put it in their game. Great business move, but it feels uh, like a lowdown thing to do. LOL. Well, you know, sure. I, I mean, yeah. eh, I mean, yeah. I mean, they they didn't make up the genre, and it's fair. Fair game, basically. It the, the fact of the matter is that it's not a very high concept idea. Right. Once it's out there. <laughs> right. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of people, and the last one to survive wins. That's basically it. And you start that's, and you start with the, nothing. That's the concept. <laughs> right. Right. Um, it's yeah. It's I can see going to be pretty easy to copy. It, that it, idea. I think it's, it's really more about game. how PUBG just isn't on consoles yet. Is the problem? Yes, that's yes. the problem here. If you know, if they were so concerned, they should step up their timeline. Which I know is easier said than done. I'm just a guy sitting in my house, but still. <laughs> no, I mean, you're first of all, Microsoft. I mean, has to be heavily, heavily incented to get this shit looking as hot as possible and out as soon as possible. Because when you think about it, the One X is coming out in November. It doesn't really have that much in ways of exclusive exclusivity. You got Forza, but that's on PC also. Um, but I guess we still count that as a console exclusive, of course. Um, and what else? You got PUBG. From what I saw at E3... It didn't, and they had it running. I'm pretty sure it was running on the One X at that um, that event we went to. Ship. It didn't look good. Like it, it did not. I mean, I play on my PC. I think that you know, it's not you know like one of the best looking games out there by any stretch. But at 1440p uh, with all the settings turned up, it's it's certainly it good. It looks good. Uh, it did not look good on the One X. It doesn't. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a remarkable art style at all. Correct. It has a realistic. It's supposed to be realistic. And that's the main difference between, well, one of the main differences between the uh, Fortnite version and this one. Right. Totally it's, different it's, looks. It, to me, like, it's it's a fun game, um, certainly, the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. But it, the art, like, there's nothing there that's not easily, like, made better Correct. or. Like you, you can copy it and make it better really easily. Yes. It looks like yes. Like if you have money, yep. not like, like like we can't go and do it. <laughs> right. But like, if Destiny decided, oh or okay, how well, about if they put it in? Uh, and I know that you're going to talk about this because you're playing the beta. Like, what if they added that kind of a mode to Battlefront? Yeah, Battlefront Two, Star Wars, PUBG. Yeah, you're like all bounty hunters or something. Um, you're right, Chip. There's nothing that about its looks or art style that could not be approved upon. It just, I think that for this for this game and coming out on the One X, you want it to look as realistic as possible, and it just looked like big and chunky when I saw it. It did not look 
And if Microsoft is smart, this is going to be like the, the big push for the One X. And you just make that shit look as good as possible. Get those get those top uh, Microsoft men over to uh, I don't know where this game is made out of, but where PUBG yeah, house that is. You get those guys over there, top men. Mm-hmm. Uh, at Hassett, Alex writes in and says, the survival genre burned itself out in one to two years. Do you see a similar time frame for Battle Royale? What's the sure. survival genre? I th- I don't know. So I'll say sure. <laughs> like um, like uh, Conan no, and no. Uh, That, that one game that you maybe buy that I never played. Which one? Oh, the like game. Rust, you um, mean? Like Rust and... Uh, Rust, yeah. Like yeah. That. Yeah, I honestly, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, like as like a standalone game that that's all it does. It probably will. Ha- it probably has a shelf life. I mean, most things do. Remember, like when the hot thing was, um, like the unbalanced multiplayer, four versus one, like uh, evolve. We just spoke about. No, right. No, that was never the but, hot thing. But that had like a a, neg- a negative two right. months shelf but life. That, However long it was from E3 to when that... But people uh, were talking about (laughs) developing games like that. I bet you there were games, a lot of games in development that had those modes that maybe never Although that Friday the 13th, that Friday the 13th game seems to be doing pretty well, so... Sure, yeah. I I, guess there's exceptions to every rule. Sure. This one just seems like it's just going to, it's, it's just going to be in there with Capture the Flag and Deathmatch. Right. Yeah. Which is fine. Right. It's a great, great idea um, mm-hmm. that you can't really trademark no. or patent. And they, Are you still yes. playing they Destiny? Just, happen, just before, one last thing. They just happen to be the first person to spin it off as like a standalone thing and make it. They did it very and well. It and do it very well and make it accessible right. for everybody and make mm-hmm. it entertaining to watch on Twitch. Uh, Destiny, yes. I, I beat it twice in the last week. <sighs> Shit, man. I still have only beat it once. I haven't played it since Friday. Who has got the highest power level? Now you do, because I haven't played since Friday. 284, bitches. Makes my 272 look lame. But there's also that part of me that's like, okay, I hit 272. I don't want to jump through the weird hoops now to try to get if higher. You, there's nothing if you weird. add both my characters together, I'm at a 450. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. It's not weird so, yet. You don't have to really jump through hoops. You just have to do the milestones every, every week when they reset. Um and once you hit 280, then you can do the raid. Um, yeah, I did. Um, I did the strike last week. Somebody. Uh, oh no, they asked if I did the raid. I did the strike last week with Jimmy Mac and um, who was the guy? Um, uh, Wheezy helped us. Uh, actually, carried us through the raid. Uh, so we, I, after failing, not the raid, the strike, the uh, nightfall. Maybe that's where you nightfall. got your cough from. <laughs> it could be. It was tough. After failing like five or six times, uh, this guy, Wheezy, uh, basically carried us through it. And uh, it was pretty, it was a great feeling to beat it. I, uh, I'm addicted to the game. I've already beaten most of the the uh, this week's uh, milestones. And it's, I had them, a lot of them beat yesterday, I guess. Uh, so... I'll go get back in there. I uh, started playing, uh, well, it came out on Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Raiden came out for Injustice 2, so I had to do the basic Raiden stuff right. in Injustice 2. They, I, I, He's fine. He has a really cool super move. I'll give him that. But there's part of me, you know, they gave him a premium skin of Black Lightning. And there's part of me that kind of wishes it was the other way around, where Black Lightning was the main character and it was a premium skin for Raiden. Racism, baby. And I, obviously, it's I, I doubt that is it. The man it's just, is trying to keep Black Lightning back. Yeah. It, it, I'd rather, you know, this is a DC character game. I'd rather have more DC characters and fewer Mortal Kombat characters. I and I know it's only two. I, mean, I but, agree. I could, I could honestly give two shits if there were any Mortal Kombat characters in there. Exactly. And it's, you know, and yeah, I guess it's cool that you can mix and match up Raiden's, you know, gear and stuff, which you can't do with a premium skin. It's locked in. So Black Lightning looks like that one outfit and that's never going to change. Oh, okay. Where it, 
So there'd be something kind of cool to be able to get new gear for Black Lightning, and I don't care about new gear for Raiden. I'm sure the next Mortal Kombat game that comes out is going to have this mechanic in it, and then you can play Dress Up with Raiden. So I don't need it in this game, and I understand it's the 25th anniversary of Mortal Kombat was this week, and they wanted to have that come out. So do again, you could they could have done it the other way around, and it would have had that same right. you know, yep. impact. Maybe. But I, I think... I I understand what you're saying I, I, that, I since this is the DC game, but I think Raiden is the more popular of those two characters. But he yes and no. He's the more popular of those two characters in the Mortal Kombat in universe the world. and in fighting games, but Black Lightning has never been in a game. Well, the Black Lightning TV show comes out in like a month. It may not be so, good though. Yeah. The trailer looked a fun. little suspect. So, you know, I, there's there's reasons to be promoting him a little more. And again, it's a unique character that's never been in a game before. And it's something different. It's different than Raiden. You know, the next character that comes out is Hellboy. And that's also not a DC yeah, character. Yeah, but these are, these are the guys that weird. make more people buy the DLC. Like, you're not, you're not going to get a bunch someone, of people is someone really... getting in there for the Black I don't Lightning. think anyone's favorite character from Mortal Kombat is Raiden. He's up there. Mm. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's he's definitely up he's there. He's one of the originals. I know. I, thanks. <laughs> Raiden win for he, flawless yeah. victory. So I mean, he's and he's fine. It's not like he's bad in the game. He's fun to use. It's just I don't know. I would prefer more DC characters. They released the trailer for the Atom today. He looks all right. Yeah, I would per, <laughs> I would prefer it to be Mortal Kombat. Well, I, and I think again that's coming. Right, I mean, but it's I definitely going to be a Mortal Kombat is, Eleven. These Mortal Kombat characters might entice people to buy this if they're not already sold on all the DC guys. Well, you have a uh, Sub Zero in there. What else do you need? Raiden. Raiden, yeah, <laughs> Sub Zero and Raiden. You got two, and Hellboy because he's in limbo there. It's probably pronounced Raiden. Is it probably? I don't think so. I think no, because he says Raiden. Yeah, he's he's he Raiden. He it Raiden should be wins. Raiden, but. It was made in Chicago, so it, this is definitely radio. <laughs> they do karaoke yeah. in Chicago. Right, right. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, at Ordinary Gamer one writes in and asks if, if we, if you, have you guys, no, no, sorry, wrong question. Screw you, Ordinary Gamer. Uh, Cy Better Than You asks, has Destiny stopped you from playing any other games as it has me? I ha- Not really. I haven't played yep. Overwatch since it came out. I, so I've been almost exclusively playing Destiny 2. <laughs> I played two games this week. Neither one was Destiny 2. I think I needed to take a little bit of a breather, personally. I played uh I played Injustice 2 and I played a little bit of Marvel Heroes. So I mean the reason I'm playing I've so played much as, of it is because both Gretchen and I are into it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I was gonna say you you have a game to play with your wife, and that's a very different situation. There is part of me that wants to start that second character and get back. You know, and start getting more things more frequently that are useful as opposed to having to do the milestone stuff just to get something that might be more useful. I kind of miss that. It's it's there's something about the game, you know, where and don't get me wrong, I thoroughly enjoy the game and I played a a ton of it to get to the point where I am now. But when you hit that point where you're not getting you know, you do a, a public a public mission and you know you're not going to get anything that's going to be useful. It's sort of a bummer Sometimes. when you go to find a lost sector and you finish the lost sector and you get something and it's not really useful. It's kind of a bummer. Sometimes you get lucky. And, yeah, some, exactly. and sometimes you get the same exotic shotgun for three times. Yeah. So, I, you know, it's just something It's like, eh, I get it. It's fine. And it's not, it's, and it's like, and it's a very weak complaint that I'm making. I, totally on board with that too right. but there's then that's why i'm like well maybe i'll just start a new character and and things will matter again the things no, that i'm enjoying matters. doing stop it do the do the milestones I, just, I mean the doing the strikes is essentially the first destiny game and that's the stuff that made the first destiny game kind of i mean it's they're fun there's but there's other stuff though to do yeah okay yeah. I can't. what else is there that, the, what's new well, there's like the Crucible. I don't know. It changes every week. Just do it. See, that's Stop complaining. It. I don't want to. I'm, I have no interest in doing Crucible stuff. I got a 289 sniper rifle. Come on. 
Shit's hot. I got a I got a really cool uh, grenade launcher. It's a two eighty two. It's you know it's yeah, sniper rifle's better. Yes, I bet. Also, they need to fix shaders. Have I mentioned that yet? The show. <coughs> yep. <coughs> Sneezing because it's true. I'm allergic Sneezing to your shader talk. True. Did you like the picture yep. I I posted of my character, Wombat? I'm telling you, because he's all mismatched, Love ugly it. looking. Love it's it. terrible. Not gonna put any shaders on him. Whoa. I, I love him for what he Nor is. should you. You shouldn't waste him. I don't need to change him. Ugly. I like my character. And I don't have a problem with the shaders. Mm-hmm. I have plenty of shaders. Um, I don't know. All right. You're entitled to your opinion. All right. Um, I've been playing the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. Oh, have you? How is it? I decided to buy it because you get to play the beta early and I could talk about it on the show. And I figured I was going to buy it anyway. So might as well How get... is being a battle droid? I don't know. Why do they put the prequel stuff in? Why? Who's looking for that? Who's like, oh, I need to go. To, I, why Why is there no Naboo map? And why is that the showcase for the beta? It seems like a really weird Darth, decision. Darth Maul, That's right? Darth Maul is the only redeemable thing that people like about that. Well, you know, you know, I think you have Naboo in there, first of all, because Naboo wasn't in the first game. But who cares? And who why cares? Hey, let me, I don't, let, me, let me get there. It's good for the beta because it's, it's exactly that, because you don't care about Naboo. So you you play Naboo now in the beta. Oh. You see the mechanics. You have fun. If you could have fun on Naboo. You could have fun anywhere. <laughs> well, exactly. Yes. Think about how much fun you're going to have when they add levels to the game that you care What's about. What's your favorite location in Naboo? Is it the palace, the underwater palace, or <laughs> the flat field? <laughs> oh, it's definitely the where flat field. Right, the, the rolling field where enemies roll and Gungans roll their, their balls. Roger, roger. They say roger, roger. <laughs> Good news. They did it. Roger, roger. I just seems, I would much rather see... Even if they they just change use the same environments from the from the first game and just change them a little bit, you know, and you know they're obviously going to look a lot better. Can, I'd can be you much even happy play as the Gungans? I, I don't think so. What what? <laughs> uh, yes, and yes, there's no. It would be great if they had. If you're you going know, to Naboo, I guess, ha- they like, had Hoth. They had Hoth and Endor in the in the first two games, and Tatooine, and the Death Star in the first game. What's Bring left? Back. I guess there's the- one battle on Naboo. It's it's between the Gungans and the droids. Why 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 can't you play as the Gungans? Right. That's why they had to have a story mode because they don't have any good locations left. I don't know. They blew their wad in the first game. Or do you do uh, Tatooine like? Uh, like most, the whole Mos Eisley. Yeah, maybe they do. I don't know what the locations are. The whole Mos Eisley village area thing with the they cantina. You go in the cantina and shoot around in there. You could tell, you could sneak up on someone and go, "I don't like you." <laughs> you know that would be fun, right? People would be into that. Oh, wait, they are okay. Get the hangar bay with the Millennium Falcon in there. Um, okay, here I'm reading the um, the new locations. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> Geonosis? Is Geonosis there? <laughs> including more than 12 new battlefields on land and space, including many from Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge <laughs> of the Sith, such as these household names, Utapau, Felucia, <laughs> and Mustafar. Also included are all new classic trilogy locations, including the Death Star interior. Okay, okay. yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> And Tantive yep. 4. I don't know what Tantive 4 is. I consider myself like pretty knowledgeable about Star Trek. Oh, that's the Karelian ship that Princess Leia was on in the beginning of Star Trek. That Wars, at least like, so sounds far. familiar to me. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right. I would recognize that. I, maybe I didn't know the name, but I, I know it. Um, And then it says... I think yeah, you I made up know. those first three locations. I swear. I thought... I actually had to check to make sure this was a legit website and not some like like... Doesn't have like Yavin or that's all they uh, mentioned. Hit, hit me so with those know. three again. I I need to hear these. Utapau. Would you like to know what that is? Utapau is what happened in Utapau. 
Oh my god, I'm reading it. I still don't know. Is that where the clones were made? No, that's Geonosis. That's where Gen- General yeah. Grievous was. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> okay, great. Utapa. Is that where they fight in the in the ring? Oh no, that's the second movie. Okay, how about Felucia? Any idea? No. Any guesses? <laughs> I, I don't even, know even how remember to spell location. It. I I remember the lava lake. It's the lava lake. It doesn't have Kashyyyk. Get that in there. I don't know. It wasn't listed in this in this list. I don't know. Yeah, what's the what's the lava planet? <laughs> where Darth Vader's house is, where he makes puns because he's comfortable. It's home. <laughs> Anyway, about the game, I mean, the game seemed fun. It looks it looks pretty good. Ty, I showed it to Ty today since he was homesick, and uh, he was very impressed by the graphics. Um, the space battles were pretty cool. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be fun, and, and, you know, it's got that single-player mode, which I'm sure will be good. So I'm looking forward to it. I just wish we all, like, I pretend, I wish the game pretended that the prequels didn't exist. So who, I mean, who it's are fine you if fighting you wanna... as? Are you, are you Captain Tanaka? Who are, if you are the good guys on Naboo. On Naboo, you are the there's the clone army versus the robots. Yes, the clo- Okay, the clone army. Yes, it's the clone army versus that the Roger even, Rogers. That's not even the right timeline. I no, I think it is, isn't it? Not if it's based on episode one. Episode one was Queen Amidala's dudes and the Gungans. And then they defeated the right. the droids, oh, right, and then right, the right, clones. Right. That was later. After that, yeah, I guess they didn't. It was too much, too uh, too hard to make the Gungans. They should have had Jar Jar Binks be the hero. Should, the I, I I am fully on board now with embracing Jar. If we're going episode one, you have to. Have you Jar-Jar. have to have Jar Jar. He's the heart. It's I, I it's it's it seemed weird a weird decision to me but hey I'm not I don't make games so what I want to play as Gungans and Ewoks. That's yeah. that is interesting to me if we're going to go this route. The other location uh, that was in the beta for like the strike missions I think that's what they're called was the plan I don't know what it's called of course because it was in um uh whatever the latest Star Wars Rogue one. one not Rogue One not Rogue One oh, the other Force Rogue Awakens. One. Force Awakens, where uh, the 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 bar with the woman with the glasses, Maz, that mm-hmm. yeah, that area, Maz, that jungle basically outside of the bar, outside of that big building. Okay, it's too big. To That's be a, a bar, it's at least it's a, a location that I can envision. <laughs> right. Anyway, they fight there. There's right. a whole battle yeah. there. That one you're fighting. Yeah, that works. It's the. Oh yeah, it's the New Order versus the clones, Ooh. the battle droids. No. The old order. No, no, it was dudes in gray. Honestly, I don't even know who the fuck they were. They were just like guys in gray. I didn't really recognize them. The resistance. I guess the resistance. Mm-hmm. They seem pretty well dressed for resistance. Yes, but okay. Anyway, it seemed fine. They're, sure they're the, the resistance. They have we'll outfits. No, yeah, I definitely. I have it pre-ordered. Yeah. I am looking forward to it. I also like thinking about stupid Star Wars. Stuff. I had, don't have it pre-ordered yet. I pre-ordered uh, Mario, uh, whatever it is, yeah. Odyssey yeah. this week, and I'm waiting for my ten dollars from that to pre- before I right. pre-order Star right. Wars, yeah. and then I'll get my ten dollars for Star Wars, and then I don't won't know what to do with that right. ten dollars. All right, let's uh let's wrap up the show because yeah. you're not feeling well. Oh, does that Star Whoops. Wars okay. talk got to you? Too much, too much Star Wars. It depressed me. Uh, no, have you have you seen for... the Black R two D two? No, is he in the game? I... Is he the bad R two D two? Yes, he works the for bad the bad R2-D2. guys. Yes, um, racist, racist yes. uh, Lucas. I guess he's out of it now. Well, I think this was back in his time. Like somebody, I tweeted out about that today, and somebody said that he was actually in Return of the Jedi. Oh, okay. Remember that scene where where bad R two D two fought against good R two D two? It is bumped. They just bumped into each other until one of them fell over. That was the best part of the movie. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Let's remind everybody to follow us on Twitter at GPD at New Wombat at Shipwreck at Video Game Deals. Um, follow me on Twitch, 
twitch.com uh, or twitch.tv slash cheapassgamer. And of course, go to hellofresh.com and use coupon code CATGAS30 to save $30 off your first week of deliveries when you subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Bread's done. Mr. Cordjata Binks, Mr. Your Humble Servant. That won't be necessary. Oh, but it is. It is demanded by the gods, it is. 